Hello, Codismus here with a tutorial on how to use my plugin Button Warp. Um, basically, what this does is it lets you teleport from um, on one place to another or from one world to another um, by simply pressing a button. And you can also um, make it so when you press that button it charges you money or it rewards you money. Um, so basically if we look at the help menu here uh, we have it's pretty simple to use and I'll um, make a warp and show you some of the um, different features that this plugin has. So, first of all, we want to make a warp, and so we'll make a warp right here. So then when we type in bw make, uh, we'll call it test, um, it made a warp. Now, um, it just basically saved my location, so it will warp me to that ex exact spot. So... I'll show you by linking uh, this button by targeting it and slash bw link to test. Now when I press it, it warps me over to here. Okay, so we can also um, add a message um, towards the bottom of this list here slash bw message test and it will say you just warped okay so now when we press the button it says you just warped now you'll want to set um, this message to say um, you were just rewarded however many coins or whatever your currency is or um, it charged you however because this plugin doesn't um, doesn't um, say any of those messages you have to um, type in uh, your custom message yourself so now that we have one linked, we can set the amount. So we will set that to 5. Test 5. Now it costs 5. Um, 5 coins on my server. So when we press it, let's look at how much money I have first. And then we press it and it says you just warped and then we'll check my money again and I got five and we can set we can also set the amount to negative five and when we press it then check our money again and it did not change. Um, this is actually because I have the permission node admin dot free warp. So um, whenever I use a warp, it doesn't charge me. Um, so that's why it didn't cost me anything there. So I'm sure some people run into that with the um, star permission for having all permissions and that's why that happens so what else do we have here um, we have source right here so if we set the source to server that's what it is by default it will just create money um, to give to players and it will destroy money that it takes from players otherwise if you set the source to a player um, you put the players name here then any money uh, given or taken by a warp will be sent or um, taken from that specific player. Same with a bank. If you have um, 
BOS economy or um, bank account, then it will transfer this money with the bank. So, some other things we have here is time, which you could set a cooldown time. Um, so basically, how this works is it's defaulted set to um, none, so there's no cooldown time. So people can use it as fast as they want, but if you set it to... Let's set test to never. Then I do not have permission to do that. Okay, I forgot to give myself permission notes. Um, I'll have to set them and come back to this. So some other things I can show you here are slash button warp um, locate test. And that will show me all this. So send you to location world equals main world x equals negative blah 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 blah. Okay. So that's what that is. Um button warp type that's the type of cooldown that could be either um, could be either uh, user or global so if you only want um, like one person to warp to a certain area every hour or so you could um, use the global type of cooldown by typing in w type glue nope test global and then uh, once I use a warp everyone on the server would have to wait an hour or the spe specified time before they can use that warp again so let's hear it. for time when you're setting the time if you want it let's see we'll set time test now this is basically how you lay out the time this would set the time for um, four seconds three minutes, two hours, and one day. Um, so that's how that works. And once I uh, give myself permissions, I'll show you how that works. Okay, I'm back with the permissions I needed to set. So we will bring the help menu back up. And now, let's see here, what did I try to do before? Let's um, set the time, button warp time for test to never. So now I press it, and I cannot use that again because it already recorded that I um, used it earlier. Um, so let's set it to button warp. Um, time test let's set it to 10 10 seconds so that would be zero days zero hours zero minutes and 10 seconds and now we press it it's been 10 seconds before but when I try to click it again you must wait to use that again I can keep pressing it until 10 seconds will pass, and there, I used it again. Um, and I already explained the, I already explained type, and that's basically how this plugin works. Now, obviously, uh, you wouldn't just 
have yourself warp um, one block away. But um, I mainly use this for warping between worlds. You just go to the other world, make the warp, and then go back to your previous world and link a button there. It's that simple. Um, it can also be used for um, simply uh, rewarding people from t um, once they get to the end of a dungeon. They press the button, they receive a reward, and then um, get teleported back to a main city or whatever. Um, also, in order to send someone to a dungeon, you could use one of these. I mean, there's lots of uses for them. Um, also, the button warp make no warp. That makes it so you can just charge you can just have a button that you can that will automatically um, charge people so if you wanted to charge to open the door or something like that um, if you're looking to do something like that you might want to look into my plug and turn style um, but I won't talk about that now um, one more thing which I didn't go over if we come over here and we type slash button warp move and then test um, warp test move to current location so now if I come over here and press that then it now warps me over here so that's basically it um, if you have any questions the best place to ask them is on the bucket forum but if you comment on this video I'll try to um, answer you on here too so and that's all.